Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, the Bouche C, and I have another story to tell you guys. Let's go. As you see, my awesome collection of pop figures is still growing. Yeah, you don't have to tell me. I know I'm addicted to these pop figures. Please ignore this here. Yeah, just ignore that. I'm just kind of lazy to, you know, do that kind of thing. But let's get to that story. So I just got back from Toronto. I went to New Year's to visit my friends Johnny and Rachel. We had tons of fun. We went to Niagara Falls, we went to Palladium, we went to a bunch of arcades, we went and hung out with friends, we went out to eat and stuff. It was a really fun time. But this story mainly consists of when I got back from Toronto. Yeah, I got another taxi cab driver story I want to talk to you about. He got all mad and told me that it's not going to go through, when obviously it's said approved. So my whole story is, when I took the plane, my plane got delayed, so it got delayed till the next day, and then it got cancelled, and then I missed my flight, and then finally I got home, I landed back home at 7 o'clock in the morning. And I know what you guys are thinking, 7 o'clock in the morning, that's a hell of an early flight. You're telling me I had to wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning just to get ready and to catch my shuttle to that airport. And my flight was at 5.45 a.m. So once I finally landed, I got off the plane, grabbed my bag, and I went to get the cab. Bear in mind, it was like minus 35 that morning, so it was pretty damn cold. And if you're from Canada, you know what minus 35 is. Especially where I'm from. So I did what like every other person would do. I went and hauled for a cab. Hauled. No, I went and called for a cab. Yeah, I'm tired. I've been sleeping all day. So there was this cab driver talking to his friend. I'm like, hey, are you free? And he's like, yeah, just give me a couple minutes. And then I'm standing there. Six hours later. And as I'm still standing there, he's still talking to his friend. And then finally I started getting frustrated and I said, buddy, I'm not going to stand here in the f***ing cold while you talk to your best friend. Can we go, please? And then he had the nerve to say, hey, I don't like your attitude. And I'm like, first of all, you're standing... Out in the, I'm standing out in the cold hot while you're talking to your best friend when I could be sitting in your cab getting warm And then we finally get into his cab, and then he's like, I don't like your attitude get out of my cab And I'm like, excuse me? And then he's like, yeah, get out of your get out of my cab And I'm like, well, you too, buddy And then I got out of the cab And then as I'm about to get another cab, he walks over to the cab in front of him and tells him not to take me And as I'm still standing outside in the cold at 30, minus 35 degrees, thankfully I have one of those Canada Goose Coats, which are like handle minus 50 degrees in the cold. But besides the fact, it was still, I was still standing in the cold. And as I opened a rear hatch to like put my suitcase in that cab, that cab driver takes my bag out. Like, what the f So I threatened him. I threatened him. I was like, you're lucky I don't deport you back in a casket. That sounds pretty mean, but... If you were in my situation and you're standing in the minus 35 cold and a cab driver tells you to get out of his cab because he's not going to take you and then he tells the other cab to not take you, you'd be pretty mad too. Especially it's 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm freaking tired. So needless to say, I called for another cab and I said, please come pick me up. I am not dealing with so-and-so cab. I just want to go home, please. So he picks me up, he drives me home, and then... One of the cab companies calls him saying, do you have this guy? And he's like, no, I don't have him. Thankfully, that cab driver was so cool. Or else he probably would have kicked me out of this cab too. But I made it home safe. I'm just, I just hate cab drivers so much. Especially the ones that are buttholes. I just hate them so much. Uh, if you guys had the same experience as me, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And thank you for watching my video. Take care. Have a nice day. I'm not sure how long this video is just because it's me ranting. But, um... Like, like and favorite, follow me on Vine. I have a Facebook and Twitter. Uh, I have a, yeah, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Vine, my Keek, and Instagram. Follow me all on those. Take care, everybody. Have a nice day, and I'll see you later. Can't wait to get a mouthful. Oh! Give me. <coughs> Give me.